Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. We welcome, Lord. We welcome you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Have your way. Oh, Holy Spirit. Yes, Jesus. So good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you for this morning, Lord. Now in Psalm 150, it says, let all things praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So you know what? We can just join with creation this morning. It says, praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the lute and harp. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with stringed instruments and flutes. Praise him with loud cymbals. Praise him with clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I used to, at one point, I used to, when I used to praise the Lord, I used to say, Oh trees, praise the Lord. Oh heavens, praise the Lord. All you, his creation, praise the Lord. And so we're never alone in our praise to him. Praise him in the sanctuary, praise him in the mighty heavens, praise him, all the earth praise him, praise him in his awesome power, praise his great and holy name, praise him. Praise be heard from the new. 
praise the Lord. We praise, we praise you, you in the sanctuary, God. We praise you. Lord, we praise you this morning. Oh, be You who created the heavens. <laughs> we thank you, God, for your mighty hand at work in us. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the breath in our lungs. And we choose this morning to give you praise, to lift you high. Okay. 
did you know that, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the Earth is in orbit at 167,000 miles per hour, and yet we don't even feel it. We don't even feel that velocity. We don't feel that speed. How amazing is our God? Everything has a purpose. He didn't make us by accident this morning. He's made us for such a time as this.
most of those words contained our gratitude for the the Lord, our God. Lord, we're sorry that we waste our words this morning. Lord, we're sorry that where there should be praise, there is complaining. Lord, we're sorry that where there should be hope, there is fear. And where there should be trust, God, we fail there as well, Lord. We take things into our own control. And Father, this morning, we just want to recommit ourselves to you, God. Lord, we need your grace more than ever. Lord, we want... because out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks and Lord we want our heart to be so filled with your grace with your commission with your unfailing un- unfailing Lord unfailing love Lord your limitless unlimited love to be poured out in and through us to our families Lord into situations where all we see is a brick wall or we can't see a way forward God would you make a way in the desert would you do a new thing before our very eyes you 
taking communion at the end of the service but before we do that I feel like we need to have this time before our God who redeemed us from the miry clay and set our feet upon a rock whose thoughts towards us outnumber the grain of sand that's how much he thinks of us. The Lord, who's carved our very names in the palms of his hand. That means it's not just on one hand, it's on the palms of his hand. The God, who upon himself is called true and faithful. Whose eyes burn like fire. we love you and his desire is that we are one with him like he and the father are one how awesome is that how awesome is that the God of all creation bends down his ear to hear our humble cry our humble plea our humble prayers So we think about the cross And all you've done for us In that while we were yet sinners Christ died for us song I wrote a long time ago. You can take a seat. I want to be holy because you are holy. And I want to be righteous because you first love us. I want to forgive because by your grace Father, I want to be just like you before I was born. You had 
a plan for me You called me by name And always looked out for me Now that I'm here All that I'll ever be Is for you, Lord You're my everything I want to be holy because you are holy. I want to be loving because you first loved us. I want to forgive because by your grace I'm free, Father. you are holy and I want to be loving because you first loved us I want to forgive because by your grace I'm saved Father I want to be just like you for I was had a plan for me you called me by name and always was there for me now all that I am all that I'll ever be is for you Lord you're my everything I want to be You are holy, yes, Lord. And I want to be loving because you first loved us. I want to forgive because by your grace, I'm free. Father, I want to be. to be just like you Father I want to be just like you just like you just like you Jesus just like you just like you yes Lord we come with our worship, adoration. We give all to you, Lord. Right now, as part of our worship, we come to give our offering unto you, Lord. We just want to say thank you for every material blessing. Yes, Lord. And we want to say thank you for every a spiritual blessing every healing every miracle that you've done in our lives Lord with our words with our actions with our finances we want to honor you Lord thank you for the blessing thank you for what you've done sitting here um, don't worry about the offering we do it as a part of uh, our worship unto the Lord if the Lord leads you you can definitely uh, sow into God's kingdom but we do this uh, to honor him so pass this uh, on just uh, speak to the Lord ask uh, you know 
how much lord how much you want us so in today into the kingdom lord in fact it is sometimes it's better to decide at home how much you want us so into the kingdom of god hallelujah hallelujah lord as your children so into your kingdom lord so into the raising up this uh, building this church and also as we support other ministries and other missions and so on lord we ask lord let the seed bring forth the harvest lord let it bring forth 30 60 and 100 fold lord according to their faith lord Lord, we know that you are a good God and you want to bless us. Lord, as we sow, Lord, we know that you will bless us. Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord, I choose to bless this offering. Lord, let it multiply, let it increase. If they are looking for a job, let the job breakthrough come in. If they are looking for a healing, let the miracle take place. If they are looking for praying for a relationship issues let the relationship be restored if uh, they are looking for a promotion let there be exaltation in the workplace Lord if they are stuck in a problem or wanting to know how to get out of situation in that situation Lord I ask that you would come through as a Lord of breakthrough that you would show the ways that you will open yes, up those doors yes, which are shut. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are a good God. When I think about the Lord and how he saved me, how he raised me, how he filled me up with the Holy Ghost, how he healed me to the uttermost when I think about the Lord how he picked me up turned me around set my feet on solid ground it makes me want to shout hallelujah thank you Jesus Lord you were worthy of all of the glory all of the honor
will shout out. team thank you thank you Lord for turning up and being with us Jesus thank you okay good morning everyone thank you for joining us um, again, once again, um, we are glad that you came. If not, we won't have people to worship with us. <laughs> um, we welcome uh, Sean's dad here, <laughs> Uncle Joe. Uh, and uh, sister, uh, welcome again. Uh, what's your name? I forgot. Uh, Laura? Jura? We welcome you, Jura. <laughs> Dora, Dora, yeah, 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 sorry. Yeah, once again. Uh, uh, right, so I have a message uh, today, but uh, Sean, if I may uh, I'll give some excuses. Oh. Sean, I need to give some excuses. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> Last time I gave excuses, Sean said, oh, excuses, excuses. So today's excuse is uh, I was again, uh, sorry, me and Shanta were very busy looking at the carpenter working last night uh, and his uh, f friends. <laughs> uh, and we didn't finish here till 12.30 uh, uh, or 1 or something. Yeah, so, yeah, so my message is, um, it's got 10 pages, but uh, I only want to preach four. So, uh, <laughs> because four equals uh, one hour. Uh, sorry to tell the time. We're going to watch the time. Okay, so have I got any jokes that I need to say? Uh, 
uh, feel relaxed here. The main thing is uh, you need to enjoy the presence of God. Uh, when we worship, uh, we, we believe and we expect God's presence to come and you know, dwell among us. So God is with us. When you go to heaven, you're going to be really happy and joyful. It's all the things that it's written. So you need to exercise that uh, over here in church because this is where God is. Uh, or at least this is where you come to meet with God. So be happy and joyful and relax. It's like your daddy's house, you know. Sean, you can explain about daddy's house, isn't it? You take liberty, isn't it? <laughs> we all do. Uh, 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 all, all our dad, even Ruth's dad is my uh, b bank, you know, <laughs> to withdraw cash, you know. <laughs> dad, you know, we need, uh, uh, we need an extension. Uh, what do you think, Dad? Go for it, son, go for it. <laughs> anyway, so it's, uh, it's the God's house, your dad's house, so relax and enjoy. Um, also, just really quickly about manifestation. Uh, we, I would do, uh, you know, a message on manifestation of God's, uh, or at least manifestation on visibly present on people. Uh, but uh, today, I just want to briefly say, uh, sometimes we we laugh and we cry when the presence of God comes. The uh, Holy Spirit starts touching. Sometimes we can shake. Uh, sometimes we can fall. But uh, please uh, remember, it is the Lord uh, doing, uh, and uh, you know. Some people don't like it, uh, but uh, we allow uh, uh, a room for the Lord to touch his people. Uh, so if there's any manifestation that that you didn't like, uh, we are sorry. And also expression of worship. This is how we worship. We jump around, dance around. You're welcome, you know, or sit or lie down, <laughs> whichever way that you are comfortable, uh, you know. Uh, worship, uh, I mean, David was, uh, f you know, sometimes he would go into the Lord's house and, you know, on his face, you know, lie down, <laughs> basically. And, uh, you know, and also David uh, took off most of uh, his uh, clothes <laughs> in front of the uh, Lord and danced. Uh, uh, well, please have, <laughs> don't do that, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> unless you're in your room. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we, we do ask that you have radical worship because it's a sac worship of sacrifice. You know, you're not worried about how people look, but you just want to give him what you have, you know. Say, for example, uh, you know, a, a, a long lost uh, friend had come home. You would, you know, shout and scream and, you know, be really happy or, you know, uh, or, or something exciting, good news happens. You want to express it, you know. Uh, the Lord is the good news. Okay, so let let me come back uh, to my message, my ten-page message. Sorry if I'm not flowing, but I'll tell you uh, the title and uh, the conclusion in the beginning. So in case you get lost, uh, <laughs> Shanta was teasing me the other day about my style of uh, <laughs> preaching, but this is me. This is how God created me. He can improve. <laughs> I give him room. Uh, so, so um, before I give the, is it cat out of the bag? Let the cat out of the bag. Ru Ruth is an English scholar. I was, born, I was not born in this country, so I need to clear. <laughs> so, uh, so, how many know that God has favorites? Do you agree or do you not agree? No, no. Okay. Does God have favorites or not? You're thinking about it. Yeah. Okay. Right, that's why I'm going. These people, they already, already know my message. Okay, so that's what I'm going to talk about, God's favor. If you look in the Bible... God has favorites. It doesn't sound nice, isn't it? Like, you know, when you ask uh, the kids, uh, who is your favorite, dad or mom? They are very clever. They say both. <laughs> because they know the benefit from both of us. So if, 
they don't want to rock the boat. So neutral answer. Uh, boat, yeah. <laughs> one one feeds another one buys toys. <laughs> so so God has favorites. If you look in the Bible, He had a favorite uh, person called Daniel. Uh, Daniel. Ah, uh, sorry. We start with Joseph. Joseph, he got in trouble because he was God's favorite. God gave him a dream, said that he's going to be a ruler and a, you know, you know, someone big, and his brothers and his dad and mom are going to come and bow down to him. Now, sorry, let me cut this echo off. Uh, uh, so check. Uh, so he blabbered it out. God said, I'm his favorite, and that didn't uh, uh, work out well. So after that uh, disaster, <laughs> stuck him. But you know the full story. Go God did exalt him. And he, in the end, uh, you know, Joseph's brother and mama, uh, mama, mom, dad, uh, brothers came and actually bowed down and uh, worshipped him because he became like the prime minister and there was a famine in the land and he was the man who was in charge and uh, he forgave his brothers and so on. So, but then, uh, yeah, Daniel in the lion's den, you know, because he was God's favorite, there was a protection upon him, you know, supernatural protection. I mean, if you jump in the lion's cage now, <laughs> you're gone, yeah? So there, there is a divine pr protection. There's a favor upon. Uh, then uh, we see, um, uh, who else? Favored is like favorite. <laughs> yeah, favored, okay. Um, so you threw me out there, okay. So uh, who else can you uh, say? Uh, David. He's, he was no, I mean, when uh, Samuel went and said, hey, I'm going to uh, anoint the king, next king to Saul, and uh, bring all your sons, let me check out who they are. And, you know, all of the, most of them were like smart and handsome and big and, you know, just they looked the part for the king. And uh, uh, Samuel almost went to anoint his, his brothers. And God said, no, 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 no. And all, I think, six or seven brothers went by and he said, is there anyone else? Because God's saying none of them. Oh, yeah, our little guy is there in the, you know, looking after the sheep. I, are you sure you want us to bring him? And he, uh, Samuel said, yeah, 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 bring him. And when they brought David, God said, he's the one. So God chose, you know. Okay, you get it? All right, okay. Then, favor, or fa there is a plan and a purpose behind when God gives you a favor. It is not for, uh, I mean, most, I mean, there are, uh, you know, places where they preach favor and favor of God and blah, blah, and it's all about prosperity and uh, so on. That is extra. It comes with the package, you know. Uh, you know, fringe benefits. <laughs> so it's part of the package, but that is not the main thing. Main thing is God has designed you for a purpose. Even before you were born in your mother's womb, he has already planned your, uh, you know, your journey, where you need to be. And according to he he's going to give you favor. Understand? Okay, now my difficult bit is going to come which is trying to look at my notes and trying to guide you through. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, look at John the Baptist and then Mary. Uh, sorry, mm, yeah. J John the Baptist's, uh, you know, birth or uh, conception. And then uh, Mary and Jesus, okay? So we are going to look at the uh, Bible Please uh, open your Bibles to Luke 1, 5. If you don't have it, don't worry. You can look up your iPhone, iPad, uh, Androids. So, if 
Okay, everyone there? Like so, the Luke uh, 1, 5, uh, I think, the, the first part is just to encourage our prayer warriors uh, at uh, Alpha Grove. Uh, the, the prayer is called incense. Okay, so reading from verse 5, Luke 1 verse 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judah, uh, Judea, a certain priest named Zechariah of the division of Abijah. His wife was the daughter of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God. So, key word there that you did remember, they were both righteous before God. Walking in all the commandments, what is it? Walking in all the commandments, okay? An ordinance of the Lord. What, what does it say in your Bible after that? Blameless. Was any, did anyone blame them for anything? No. But they had no children because Elizabeth was barren and they were both well advanced in years. So it was that while he was serving as the priest before God in the order of his division according to the custom of the priesthood. So Zechariah was serving in the temple and his duty or his rota, uh, you know, he, he, he was assigned uh, on the rota and he was in the temple. His lot fell to burn incense. This is where I wanted my uh, 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 prayer warriors who come for the incense nights to listen carefully. He f his lot fell to burn incense, like what we do at Alpha Group. When he went into the temple of the Lord, and the whole multitude of people was praying outside at the, at the hour of incense. So while incense was going, people are praying. Okay, this is like a model that we need to remember. Um, and Ze when Zechariah saw him, he was... Oh, sorry, oh, I missed, sorry about that. Uh, 11. And an angel of the Lord appeared. While he was doing the hour of incense, there is an angel. Remember the timing. Okay? So while the incense was happening, the angel shows up. Angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of the incense. And when Zechariah saw him, he was troubled and fell, uh, fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, do not be afraid, Zechariah. For your prayers, prayer is heard and your wife, Elizabeth, will bear you a son. And you shall call him, call his name John. And you will have joy and gladness and many will rejoice at his birth. And later on in the passage 19 it says, And the angel answered him, I am Gabriel who stand in the presence of God and was sent to speak to you to bring you these glad tidings. So we, we can, while we are offering incense, uh, prayer, and worship, you can expect an angel to show up to, uh, you can expect the angel to show up when the you know, pr incense is offered, uh, or prayer and you know, worship, you know, what we call it, incense. You can expect that to happen because that's like a, you know, right moment for the angel to show up and answered prayers. Amen. So that is the motivation for you guys to turn up for prayer. Um, okay, so we carry on. Verse 26. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel, same angel again. So the, the, these, uh, were, I did a small teaching on uh, the angels. These are, uh, angel Gabriel is a high level angel. Uh, it's not uh, a small, uh, you know, uh, th there is ranking. And this Gabriel is a high-level angel. Uh, was sent by God to a city 
of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph uh, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one. That is the key word that I wanted to bring. Highly favored one. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. So there you go. God's favorite. <laughs> but when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and considered what manner of greeting was this. So she really freaked out. Obviously, seeing an angel will freak you out first. And then angel show, where there is, when the angel shows up, there is a lot of, uh, you know, you know, it's, he, he, angels coming from the throne of God, you know, like Moses had the glory, uh, you know, uh, reflecting. And people were like, oh, no, we don't want it. And um, think about that, you know, angel shows up in front of you, you know, all power and all glory, you know, radiating from God's presence. And, you know, she's freaking out. And uh, she's like wondering, what's this? <laughs> well, he, he, the angel is saying a good, a good thing, but uh, she's like confused. So, um, then the angel said to her, do not be afraid. Good word there. Mary, for you have found favor. Everyone say favor. favor. With God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the son of the highest. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. Amen. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore, also that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Amen. So, Mary, you think about it. God already pre-planned Jesus' birth. But he was looking for someone to bring forth a child. Am I right or in thinking that way or am I wrong? Because angel came, comes and says, Oh, you are the favorite. You are the highly favored woman that God has chosen to bring forth this child who is called the son of the living God. Look at that. All right. So now I am going to let the cat out of the bag because here it says while Ma Mary was worshiping the Lord, she reveals a little bit how she came to that position. Everybody want to hear that? Everyone ready to become favored? Is that uh, in your heart? It's a good thing to be favored by the Lord. Okay. For example, if you have an assignment from the Lord, I mean, all of us have, this is going to accelerate or this is going to position you for the purposes and plans of God. Amen? There is fringe benefits also, which we'll talk about later. Okay? Right. So, now, uh, we are jumping to verse 46. Everyone with me? Give a wave offering. If you are with me, good. Right. Is, is it too hot or Jacob, you're fine? No, just ask him. You know. He feels hot all the time. Oh, at least, sorry, I feel hot and he says, can I open the door? <laughs> so uh, if anyone is feeling hot, we can open the door. But please don't run away. Uh, so she say, she, Mary is singing. My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit was rejoiced, uh, has rejoiced in my Say, uh, is in God my Savior. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. Keyword, lowly state. 
Anyone want to explain what that state is? Humble. Okay? So, the people might miss this because this is like Mary giving a song. But I found uh, that she's giving, uh, you know, the keys for her favor, fa how to become a favorite. Yeah? So, she humbled herself. Okay? lowly state of the his maid servant for behold henceforth all generation will call me blessed for he who is mighty has done great things for me and holy is his name and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation keyword fear him right he has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud. He has what? So proud people, not favored. In the, in the Im imagination of their heart. He has put down the mighty from their thrones. If you think you are big, he's actually thrown those people down. You know, if you think, oh, I deserve... God's favor, or I don't know, you know, people who are thinking big about themselves. Uh, you know, I think say it comes in the same line as, you know, pr pride or proud. Um, and exalted the lowly. Uh, and he has exalted the lowly goddess. He has filled the hungry with good things. Keyword, hungry for God. Everyone say hungry. Hungry. Not the food hungry, but the spiritual hunger. And the rich he has sent away empty. People sometimes say, oh, ah, I know everything. I, I, I have everything. You know? It says here, the rich he has say, sent them empty. It doesn't actually literally mean, you know, money, finance. But he, he says the attitude of our heart. You know, I have everything. I don't need. You know, I know it all. Those people he sent. So Mary wasn't that those people. Humble. Uh, there is more for God. I'm hungry for God. You know, look at the state. Okay. So rich he has sent away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of mercy. As he spoke to our fathers to Abraham and his seed forever. Amen? All right. So if you don't understand the rest, don't worry. At least understand this. Okay? So look at Mary, what position she took to receive the favor from the Lord. Okay? Favor from the Lord will take you from Joseph was in the pit, exalted, to the highest place, prime minister. Yeah? David was a shepherd boy, and when he was exalted to the kingship. So there is a transformation, there's a shift with favor. Okay? So it is not naturally possible for it to happen. It is going to happen, you know, as a supernatural thing. Okay? Because if you read Mary's uh, further down, she says, Nothing is impossible for the Lord. She's trying to say, it is really impossible. But with the Lord, there's nothing impossible. That's the same Lord we worship and we serve and we come to meet with. Amen. So if you don't know the rest, if you don't understand the rest of the message, don't worry. This is in a nutshell, the message. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to dive a bit deeper. I hope I will keep uh, everyone in uh, connection. Okay? Now in Luke 2, verse 40, it says, And the child grew and became strong in the spirit and filled with wisdom and grace of God was upon him. 52. 
So, uh, yeah, the other key word I wanted to say is grace, not the grace that, uh, you, know, the, you know, by grace you are saved. But there is another grace which is relating to favor, and this is that grace. The child grew and became strong for 40 years in the spirit, filled with wisdom. Keyword, wisdom. And grace of God uh, upon, was upon him. Favor. 52. And Jesus increased in, keyword, wisdom and stature and in, and in favor with God and man. Okay, there is a, there is a, uh, what you call, um, uh, a order in which you receive favor. First, before you receive favor from the man, there is favor you need to get from God. So this is how, you know, people who don't deserve, I've met with so many people who don't deserve to go up the ladder in the corporate ladder, like, for example, they might be making tea or, <laughs> you know, the guy who does the photocopy or s staying at the, you know, like re uh, in the reception. And suddenly, there's a pff, exaltation as a director. Ruth jumped from uh, being uh, in reception as a temp. She went to a position of a directorship within a few months, uh, executive, okay? And I've, I've met with so many people, there is, a <laughs> there is no going from one place to another. It's a corporate, uh, you know, the corporate ladder, so we may call it. Yeah? It goes. David, same. You see? So there's an acceleration. But first, you need to get favor from God. You know, J uh, David... People from uh, Israel, uh, Judah, uh, they came and said, hey, J David, you need to come and be our king. God told David, you are going to be king, but he didn't take advantage of uh, when, you know, so many times he had a, a time to kill Saul and take the kingship. But he waited for the Lord because he said, he's God's anointed. I'm not going to touch him. I'll wait for my turn or wait for God's timing. And now what happens? People of Israel are coming and saying, hey, David, you need to come and take kingship over us. Immediate exaltation. Before that, he was hiding in the cave, you know, depressed and sad and grumpy and, you know. And not only that, he had some, you know, if I may use the word, some like worse people, like bums, you can call it, <laughs> you know, scums, you know, like really useless people uh, when and joined with him. But he... He's exalted immediately, you know, after that time. Right? Um, okay. All right. So we see here, Jesus was increasing in wisdom and stature and in favor. So there is a place where you can increase your favor. I don't know whether you can decrease in favor, but... It Bible clearly says there is an increase in favor. So coming back to why I chose this message is in the spirit, uh, spiritual, there is a lot of favor being shown to us and the ministry. Uh, so, uh, so, and I felt in my spirit that this is a time that church should be favored. So that means you all can partake in the favor that God is releasing. Okay, mm, because church is the body, body is the people in the church. Okay, uh, so, so for example, you know, uh, you know uh, one year ago I wanted to join uh, these networkers, pastors around this place, uh, and it was impossible. You know, people won't even take a phone call uh, or a text message. Uh, but le recently, they said, oh, you need to come and join, you know, with the prayer of the pastor's mate. So, in the spirit, for me, that is a big breakthrough. Because you're, you're being accepted. You're being, uh, you know, you're being part of what has God called here to do. 
so it's like, you know, that he's releasing his authority, he's releasing his, uh, he's endorsing what you're doing in this place, uh, you know, because they are the pioneers who have been here. And for them to say, uh, you know, you can be, you know, part of that, you know, that is spiritual uh, favor, okay? So uh, that's not the only one, uh, you know, added uh, French benefit is uh, people are, you know, unusual people are uh, getting up and giving seat uh, to Ruth, which is not big, but uh, for Ruth, it is a big thing because uh, she gets really tired. Um, and uh, yesterday, it was uh, crazy because I went into the Costco uh, queue, and it, it every aisle was, uh, you know, there's a lot of people, and I didn't really focus. I wanted to go to the shortest queue, and I was trying to look, and then I was trying to go to that shortest queue, which is also was long. Um, the white guy comes out, Sir, come to this aisle, sir. Come to this aisle. And he opened the till. And I was thinking, this is very unusual. It doesn't happen to me, you know. Uh, it doesn't come, to, you know. Then I thought, okay, I'm preaching on favor. Okay, God is just trying to confirm to me, uh, oh, yeah, this, uh, this, is, this is favor. This is time, season of favor. Um, I just want to give a few quick examples. F uh, when, we, when we lost our jobs and when we were focusing on our kids and church, you know, we didn't we didn't have any uh, you know finance coming into our uh, you know us. Immediately, our pastors said, "Hey, we will support you for one year to pay the mortgage." Now that is favor. Who wants to pay somebody else's mortgage? I don't think anyone wants to. Only <laughs> people who have been told by the Lord. Um, so it's 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 that is favor. Uh, you know, uh, you know, strange things. I can go on and on about it. I don't want you to get jealous. <laughs> uh, but um, <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, the testimony of Jesus is a spirit of prophecy. So as I say it, you need to catch it and you need to receive it. That means it is possible for you. Okay, this time of this is a time of favor. So if there is, if it's a time of favor, then you should expect favor. Okay. So, okay, le so Ruth uh, just nudged me, so let me uh, say a few examples. Uh, okay, so I listened to this podcast from this guy, uh, you know, how he uh, received uh, houses from the Lord. I listened to it two times, and I thought, hey, same God I serve. And I said, Lord, I know you blessed that man. Lord, same God, can I claim a house? So when we sold the house, uh, one house, and when we were about to buy the next house with mortgage, uh, half deposit, half mortgage, someone just said, we will put the rest of the half and just buy the house. And we moved into a mortgage-free house. So that is favor. So God gave that favor not so that I can chill out at home, relax, uh, <laughs> enjoy the weather. No, so that I can take my mind off paying bills or paying off the mortgage. I can focus on his kingdom. Yeah? Yeah, so uh, same with uh, David, same with Solomon. You know, God sorted uh, you know, their uh, homes out you know, uh, you know, accordingly. Okay? So that is part of God's favor. Uh, and uh, I, I, so many things, even uh, Ethan's school, we wanted a Christian school, but then we, uh, you know, we found out that we thought it's a not a Christian school, but when we went, they are doing you know, everything Christian-oriented uh, than any other uh, that we know of. So, you know, like that, you know, so many things. Uh, I don't just want to bombard in finance, but uh, finance would wake a few, few, few people because everybody needs finance. Everyone needs yeah, from a you know very bad school, uh, it became uh, one of the good schools in the in the place. So, favor brings all that change. You know what is it concerns our heart. You know we are serving God, and we we don't have you know that finance or that uh, that way where we can go to a place where there is a good school. But God provided, you know, made way, made room for that. If I remember uh, other things which are relevant. I may share. Okay, so 
So Bible also says, if you can pick up 1 Samuel 2.26, it says, Samuel, uh, has anyone got it? Uh, uh, and the child Samuel grew in stature, uh, in favor, both with Lord and men. So Samuel also is an example for us. Okay? Right. Mm, so I'll Let's uh, talk about David. Uh, uh, this is uh, where, you know, uh, where our church is concerned. I want you to see it with the spiritual eyes, you know, or, or uh, our church or your ministry that God has given, how it's going to work. Uh, for example, uh, you know, 1 Samuel 22, uh, 1 and 2, uh, what is it? 1 Samuel 22, uh, 1 and 2. Basically, Okay, so 400 men who are useless, <laughs> they were in debt. They were, uh, you know, they, they didn't have anything. But they went and joined David. So where I'm going is favor brings in partners for the vision that God has put in. For e example, you're in a corporate ladder and, uh, you know, God has... You know, God wants to show off through you that God is so big. So, uh, so he's going to exalt you. And you're thinking, how am I going to do that? One of the ways is he's going to bring in partners. There's going to be people coming and telling you how to do a job, you know, so that you get, you get recognized and exalted. Or there might be people coming and saying, hey, I'll work for you, even for free. I know what, is, what God has called you to do. Or, you know, they won't put it that way. They might put it like, hey, I like you. I'm going to, you know, just give you a backup. You know, these things will happen with favor of God. So as a church, we need to expect that for people to join and partner with us. Okay? So that's a prophetic word. Okay, so... Okay, let's uh, go to a good uh, story is uh, Queen Esther. How many know Queen Esther's story? It's in the Bible. <laughs> Queen Esther. And I think the Bible, uh, pa uh, pa uh, the chapter, uh, wh what do you call it? The book is called Esther? Yeah. So Esther, I think 2.17? Uh oh, yeah, Esther 2? Mm, oh, 2. Just Esther 2. Mm. Okay, so you see, Queen Esther was favored. Th this is sort of a uh, you know, go to Bible, uh, you know, a story that, you know, uh, regarding favor. So, th the king needed a wife or, or queen. So, he sent out people to go and find. So, they went and found, uh, you know, the best looking women. And, you know, you know they, I don't know how they did measure. And they brought them in. 
and everyone had to go through preparation time. So that means they need to bathe in the oil. How many of you know uh, oil represents anointing? And uh, they need to be prepared, uh, you know, various ways, you know, beauty preparation. So the for six months and then another six months doing something else. Yeah, so that's a lot of time spending just to be that queen, so many of them. The one who does a or accurately or, you know, who is doing correctly, going to be favored and to be raised up onto the throne. Similarly, we just prophetically or uh, we, we tell ourselves this is a preparation for us if you want to come into the place of favor. Uh, Mary already told us a few things. Okay? All right. Okay, so now I'm going to jump a few chapters because of time. And uh, right, so favor, uh, these are all interlinked. Okay, I'll try and get the uh, Bible passages as much as I can. Uh, these are all interlinked. One is favor comes from wisdom. Favor comes with anointing. Favor comes in the glory. Wisdom, anointing, glory. There might be more other, because I did a, just a search on um, Bible Gateway. Uh, you know, you can do a keyword search for uh, favor. And from Old Testament to New Testament, loads of times favor. And I didn't look up the word grace, because that's also so many times. But I'm, what I'm talking about is the favor which is translated as grace, okay? Uh, so there, there's a lot about favor, but these are the ones that I was able to dig out. Uh, in the anointing, there is favor. In the glory, there is favor. And in wisdom, there is favor, okay? Um, right. Everyone okay? Not tired? I think the beginning was uh, in Noah, uh, with Noah in Genesis 6, 8. It says, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Okay, this I was meant to give out uh, first. But favor takes us from the current position to the next position. It is the plan of God. God's assignment need, needs fav God's favor. It is also an endorsement by God. Uh, so we shouldn't uh, be confused with love and favor. God loves us equally. Agape love, unconditional love. Yeah? But favor is different. Yeah? Understand? Okay. So that is one of my points. We finished Esther. Uh, okay. Uh, Proverbs 8.35, it says, For whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. Is that good? If you have, if you find wisdom, it's Proverbs is talking about wisdom. Whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. And uh, so if you want to take the wisdom route, I just want to give you a bit of guidance. 
it says Job 28:28 28, 28, and to the man he said behold the fear of the Lord that is wisdom and to depart from evil is understanding so fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and wisdom brings favor. Is that, is that okay or you want to debate on that? Or okay, sorry, I can't go deeper. Mm. Uh, Proverbs 9.10, just check your Bibles whether it says the same. Proverbs 9.10. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. Yeah? Okay, so now uh, I'm going to jump on to a key passage which was given to me personally to start this church. You know the passage? Yeah. Okay, let me read that uh, passage, what was given to me, because Ruth got the vision for the church earlier on uh, than me, and I had to wait on the Lord, and I was waiting on the Lord to give me uh, a word uh, to go ahead and plant the church or start the church. So this is, we are looking at, um, oh, did I jump the gun? Oh, did I? Okay, uh, we are looking at Psalms 102. Ooh, how did I get lost somewhere? Hold on. It's a prophetic word. Um, anyone got? Uh, yeah. Psalm 102, starting from verse 13. You will arise and have mercy on Zion. For the time to favor her, yes, the set time has come. How many of you know the church's name is Zion? God can, you know, speak more clearly than this. You will arise and have, have mercy on Zion for the, for the time to favor her. Yes, the set time has come. You are going to show God's glory in your story. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was uh, Ruth's bottom line uh, of the banner. Yeah, You're, you are going to show God's glory in your story. Without knowledge, she put it. Yeah. Zion, your set time has come. Are you ready? Zion is a place and a people of Jesus Christ. Zion represents end time company of people. But it clearly says there is going to be favor and this is the verse which was given before we launched out. There is going to be favor. Amen. So if you if you are part of the body that means you are uh, you know you can call it in a uh, official way, member, uh, you become, you know, you are the body. And there is favor assigned to you. Amen? Right, so I did jump that. Uh. So I spoke about David's, uh, David, to show about the, the anointing which brought in the favor. Because uh, soon after his first or second anointing, people started gathering with him. You know, he didn't have no, you know, there's no physical or, you know, attraction. He didn't, he wasn't a king for people to come and join him. 
Yeah. Right. Uh, right. I also wanted to. Uh, Yeah, I had the Zachariah verse as well, four, but uh, let's uh, leave that out. Uh, let's jump into uh, Acts 4.33. And uh, let's finish there, I think. Ready? Acts 4.33. And with great power, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. And great grace was upon them all. What is it? 34. Nor was there anyone among them who lacked. For all who were possessors of land or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of the things that were sold. And I think it says, put it at the feet of the apostles. So, there it is, Bible is talking about favor, and there is, it's talking about great grace or great favor. So, there's an increased measure in the New Testament where we found out that Jesus increased in favor, and you see the disciples also increasing in favor. So there is an increase that we can expect. So today, if, uh, if someone has bought a house for you, tomorrow you can believe a church to be bought for you. Yeah? Can we believe? Today, if you can believe someone <laughs> getting up and giving a seat for you, or opening up a you know checkout counter, or you know so many things happen. I can't remember, but same God can open up nations for you to go and minister the gospel. Crusades can happen. S favor. Amen. All right. So I I'll conclude it. Uh, I can't go through everything. Sorry about it. Um, so uh, let's stand. And wait on the Holy Spirit. Uh, if you want to sit down, that's fine. It's a time we allow the Holy Spirit of God to come and minister to us. Um, so you can receive the Holy Spirit any way you want. Uh, you know, you can lie down, you can sit, you can stand, but uh, just uh, just your heart attitude counts. Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence into this place, Lord. Lord, thank you for the word the now a rhema word, uh, a favor. Lord, we un also understand there is room to grow in favor. There is, a, you know, great grace or favor, favor, or grace, grace. Um, there is, Lord. Lord, to receive that, Lord, we ask that you would uh, look in deep within our hearts, Lord, Lord, we cho choose to open our heart to you for you to look into areas that needs a change or a shift or a different way of thinking that is called repentance. We all love favor. We all love the benefit of favor, the added extras the 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 you know it says wealth of the wicked will be transferred you know so many bible passages on favor how you know things began to shift uh, you know in people's lives when favor comes but also we can be stuck in one uh, level of favor and uh, take it for granted you know ah oh, yeah god has blessed me but there is more what if God wants to, you know, definitely, this is, you're in a journey until, you know, you go to heaven, you know, 
What if God wants to give, uh, you know, favor, favor, or great grace, or grace, grace, and you are not in that position to receive? What if the Lord wants to make you the CEO of the company? What if the Lord wants to, you know, make you the next millionaire? What if the Lord wants to, <laughs> I don't know, exalt you in such a way that brings glory to God? Some new invention that no one has thought about. We are children of the living God who is the creator of everything. So he is a creator. And we are his children. We should be able to be able to create like our God. Flow with creation like, you know, new ideas, new invention. But there are things that need to be changed in our life. Holy Spirit, come. Look deep within us as we open our hearts. Lord, we want to take that position of Mary. We want to humble ourselves before you, Lord. Have reverence. There's sin in our lives, Lord. We we know Jesus has paid the price for us. We ask that you would you wash us, cleanse us with the precious blood as we confess the sin and we say sorry, Lord. Lord, we want to be people of wisdom. Lord, like David, who seeked after your presence, your glory. We want to seek your presence, your face. We know that there is favor in there. Thank you, Lord, for the dreams and visions that you put in our hearts, Lord. Lord, thank you, Lord, for that favor. Lord, we expect favor because it is our inheritance. Take us from grace to grace, favor to favor, glory unto glory as we surrender. Thank you, Lord, as we proclaim your word, as we preach your word, as we prophesy your word. 
that there is manifestation of the word. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We expect to see a manifestation in this house. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, give a clap offering unto the Lord. Lord, we love you. Lord, we seek you. Oh, we exalt your name. Lord, everything is for your kingdom. Everything is for your glory. All honor to you. Everything that you do reflects on you that you are a good God. You become famous in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. We're going to go into a time of communion. So uh, if you, if you want to know, uh, am I uh, okay to take communion? Uh, we just say, um, if you've received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and you believe uh, in the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and you have confessed your sin, you are more than welcome to partake in the communion. Communion, as the word says, is having commune with God. It is like having a fellowship. It's like having a, a holy meeting with God. That's what we are going to do. Hallelujah. just going to read the passage from Mark 20, 14, 22. This is how Jesus uh, had communion with his disciples. And as they were eating, Jesus took the bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to them and said, take it. This is my body. And he took the cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they were all, they all drank from it. And he said to them, this is my blood for the new covenant, which is shed for many. According to your word, Lord, as we re read, Lord, I choose to bless this communion as we take it, Lord. And as your word says, it is the body of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, which was shed and it was ripped up and it was uh, poured out as an offering unto us so that we don't go through all that. With our sin, we deserve to go through all that. But you took it upon yourself, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that this is a new covenant that you said it is written. We want to partake of that covenant and remind ourselves of that covenant that in Jesus, as we partake, he has paid it all. As they were eating, Jesus took the bread, blessed it, and broke it and gave thanks to them and said, take, eat, this is my body. Let's partake of his body. Take that uh, bread and let's eat it.
when he took the cup when he had given thanks he gave it to them and they all drank from it i bless the cup of your blood let's partake of his blood this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for many thank you lord that you said as we do this lord we become one in you lord thank you jesus thank you lord thank you lord if there is any healing that you need ask the lord for a healing if there is a difficult situation that the law that the, you, you need the lord to intervene ask because he has paid the price thank you lord thank you jesus thank you jesus release your power release your power over this communion as we partake lord let there be a difference as we partake in jesus mighty name and all god's children said amen amen hallelujah hallelujah everyone feeling good <laughs> now someone's going to remind me how to say the grace <laughs> because i always forget okay let us go in the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the fellowship of the holy spirit go in peace please stay for refreshment and say hello to people amen thank you lord thank you lord hallelujah thank you lord Can you say that?